Well, welcome to the Beyond Cinema Studio at TIFF, Mr. John Turturro. Uh, firstly, congratulations having Fading Gigolo here. Um, it's not often that uh, a director can cast Woody Allen in a movie. It's usually, obviously, a reverse situation. But you guys have worked together on three projects, uh, if you include Company Man, which is a tenuous right. connection. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. so uh, we so almost did another film together that he was going to direct. And, like I wasn't around. So. How? What was the first meeting you ever had with him? Was that uh, that was years ago for Hannah and her sisters. I met him for like two minutes, you know, and then I did a small part. And later on, I was up for a role, and, and then I didn't get it. They kept telling me that Woody's really interested, and someone else who was really good got it. And uh, in another time, then we did Company Man, and then and I was, then he asked me to do something else, and I couldn't do it. And then you know, we we basically we share a barber, which is true. And I told my barber this idea. He happened to blab it to Woody, and Woody told him to tell me to call him. <laughs> and that's how it all happened. That's I went over happened. there, and I wow. told him the ideas, and, and he said that you know that I should write it, and uh, and then he would give me feedback. That's great. It's like. Vanessa's um, here. Do you want her to do the interview? With yeah, you? Uh, she can just come, come in, in and yeah, join come on in, in the middle of the interview. That'd yeah. be great. Come on in. Um, and she, yeah. But it's it's not so, a, it's it's a pretty cool situation though where you've got Woody Allen as as essentially as your pimp as your rally monkey. Well, that was the whole idea. I was like, you know, let me say hi to Vanessa. Cool. Hi. Come on. Welcome to the Beyond Cinema Studio up here at TIFF. Obviously, we're talking with John Turturro and Vanessa Parody. Thanks for joining us as well. What what was the first meeting like with John on this project? When he told you you you, you wanted, you we wanted met for another project. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I've I was a big admirer of John Turturro, the director. So when I got the call, he, John Turturro wants to meet you for a project. I was like, I'm man, because I I loved. Then we without even talking about you know how much I admire him as the unique actor that he is, you know. So I was thrilled to meet you and, and then and then we had it was great. We we were we were talking we talked about everything. We talked about music and about cinema and we had it was it was good. It was, yeah, it was we it was, had fun. It was at a hotel in, in, Paris? in Paris. Yeah. Right. Well, we were gonna do this other film together. because um, my agent told me to to see a film that she had done and and uh, called Heartbreaker, yes. Heartbreakers, yes, sir. and she was really wonderful in it. And then we met, and then we had a really great meeting of the minds. And that film didn't happen. And then this film came up, and my agent again told me that I should think about Vanessa again. Great went, agent. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and uh, and she, you know, she's really. Uh, I was really lucky to get her because we had not because we're doing an interview, but we oh, had a, we had no, a great. I'm the lucky. Yeah, no, we had a great time working together, and she's wonderful in the film. But talk about, like, putting people in roles that, obviously, others might not expect. Right. I mean, Woody Allen, sure, he was a great agent in, you had the, that, that incredible agent in Broadway, Danny Rose, right. and stuff like that, but here he really is your rally monkey. He's the guy who's getting you out there right. and kind of inspiring you to take that leap of faith um, outside of your normal, you know, florist business. Um, and but similarly with Vanessa, like probably if you want to explain to, to our audience like what character she plays, it's obviously not something you would ordinarily think of for her. No, well, that's right, you know, people have imaginations and uh, sometimes someone ha you have something in common, you know, with a character even if you're from a different background or you could understand something. So she can articulate that better than me. Yeah. So Vanessa, for you, <laughs> stepping into this role that you know may seem untraditional. Very, yeah, very much. But you know how like the outfit and the and the wig does a lot. You, you really step into you know how we we need to step into our character with our outfit. Well, this one was you know just very extreme one. You know the 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 the, 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 the thick stockings, the turtleneck, and the fun wig and the you know that and then and then um there was the accent part and luckily uh john liked my french accent so 
you know, and, and didn't want really to know, you know, where is she from, and, you know, so I, 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 I worked with um, this, this lady who is a, is a true Assyrian, and who, um, who actually escaped from her community, so she was able to work with us, and, and I very much listened to the way she was talking, she's from is, is, uh, Israel. And so I, I just did a mixture of my, pushed my French, French accent a little more and listened to her voice a lot. And, uh, and then when you're working with somebody like John, who's so, he has like a, a sensibility. There's the talent and there's the savoir-faire of bringing us into where we need to feel comfortable and, and free. And, and, and there's so much fun involved that and, and so much trust involved. So when you're completely in, in all those moods, you get wings and you get to do things that you didn't think you would be capable of. Yeah. And in terms of, like, for you to see those people occupy those spaces, it must be exciting as both an actor and a director yes. doubly. It was really, you know, if I think I would have had another two weeks of shooting, I would have shot Vanessa walking even more. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many shots of her walking, playing music, I was thinking, like, because... Sometimes you see people traveling through space and how they occupy space, and it says a lot, you know, about them. And uh, uh, yeah, no, it became it became like the whole movie, you know. And you're really lucky when all the elements work together, and even that can go with you know costume and hair and makeup and everything. When everything just looks like you go, wow, this is just right, and, uh, and that was the case that we that we had, and we had. A, very good cast and and you know and being around Woody it kept everybody on their on their toes <laughs> yeah too yes what what yeah. Ella, like we had what? one weird because we have an outtake and you of him in the car before the take or getting out and you're talking about getting up with your kids in the morning one day I was like what are they talking about <laughs> we heard it on the microphone because do you get up with your kids and you're like yeah I get up really what time do you get up <laughs> yeah uh, but yeah he's uh, but he was delightful with her. They had, they, 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 they were really, you know, terrific. It young. was tough to keep a straight face because I played this very serious person, and Woody is just brilliantly funny, and I just, I can't laugh, and I don't know when to come in also because he just keeps on improvising, yeah. and I'm, I'm, a, I'm at the show, and I'm just watching Woody Allen being a genius, you know, and and being so funny. It was. Is yeah. awesome. You have to figure out when to come in with her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in she, she did, she did, she, she figured it out. And and on the flip side, I mean, watching Vanessa walk as this orthodox Hasidic Jew, uh, as opposed to watching Sofia Vergara walk around, right. uh, must have been a fairly uh, contrasting figure. As well. <laughs> yes, that was the whole idea that there would yeah. be contrasting, you know, figures and. It's interesting because I was thinking last night when I watched the movie that like, some of the characters are based on certain people, actually. And I was thinking, like, oh, I forgot the whole idea that Sophia's character is called Salima. And Salima is the lady who did my glasses. And she actually has a cameo, uh, is one of the lovers in. Uh, 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 you know, in the small taj. And he had a and bunch and of French actresses too. Yes, we have a lot of French, <laughs> French music. Yeah. We have a lot of French music. Yes, it's really a sort of a New York French film. Mm -hmm. oh, it's my, it's a, <laughs> well, uh, you know. Uh, New York vibe. Yeah, uh, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's well, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of got that, but you know what, it's interesting because I didn't know who Dolly Da was, who was one of the singers. Of, she knows who she is, but I didn't know. And so I just bought that CD of oh, her, her greatest hits on the street in Paris for five euros. And I, and I basically wrote the script to listening to her and then to Gene Ammons. And that's, I just played the, the two records, CDs, over and over again. Yeah. The whole movie's written to those two people. I think what you should have now is just like what he's doing, his international series of films where he goes off to all these different places. Right. You following Naples with New York for this. Well, Perhaps um, a Paris film yeah, for the next. I did another movie with Vanessa. Yeah, but in Paris on her home turf. Yeah, so. could, but she gets to sing. Being in New York with you, it was it was magic. It was cool. Very yeah. cool. I appreciate you guys spending a few minutes chatting to us today. Okay, You're thanks. Welcome.